Hooks off that jab. Nice right hand lead. Good combination. And just about everything other than his back. Stefan Johnson just took a big gulp of air. And a little hot dog. And Roy Jones, the kind that is not going to endear him to the public. Well, particularly in this in this type of situation where a timing is a way letter to Johnson has never been down. 155 pounds from Pensacola, Florida, with a professional record of two wins, no defeat, both wins by knockout. Here is Roy Jones, Jr. Strong uppercut by Jones. And then immediately lowers the hat and goes to the showboat tactics. Roy Jones in the silver trim with black. And Ron Amundsen in the black trunks. When he gets down to digging those toes in and really punching, then he does knock everybody out. Look at that. He left his feet on that punch. It's in hand speed. As he... Ooh. What a combination. By Jones. It up effectively, but Abinson remains standing. We've had no knockdowns. <laughs> oh, big left hand by Jones, and Abinson goes down. Referee Bill Connor is saying, Are you all right? And then, Are you sure you're all right? And Connor has called it. It is all over. Three for three as a professional. Record of three and all. All three by knockout. Came close himself, but neither one landed solidly. And Jones right lands him. against the ropes. And the left hand, Fred, down he goes. Ten. That's it, that's the fight right there. And it was that right hand that was down by his waist. Got clipped with the left hook sitting on the ropes, Len. In stunning fashion, Roy Jones Jr. goes to 16-0 with 16 knockouts. And he's going to drop that right hand and look, one left hook, bingo. That was it. Boxer of the Olympic Award. Right now, he's after I already am his father. Oh, my. Oh. Big right hand by Roy Jones. That will, that will finish it. Just forget about it. In this case, he is the one who ends up getting knocked out. And I mean much earlier than some people thought that it would happen. Boy, oh, boy. He got nailed with an overhand, right? I don't like about Percy Harris. And there he's down already to the body. Percy Harris motioning Jones to come on in, saying, bring it to me. I don't fear what you've got, but Harris is in serious trouble again. And Jones, aping Ray Leonard, throws his gloves in the air before trying to pound Harris back to the canvas. Percy Harris gives them all talks, all kinds of trouble. And he's a solid puncher. We're really seeing something tonight in Roy Jones. All the left hook landed solidly and now there's blood coming out of Harris's mouth and down he goes again the third knockdown of the bout here is Roy Jones in action and we may be watching a star who is about to burst up and moves away from Harris another right cross Harris in trouble again and Harris make it out around four not without going down short left inside and Wolf is stunned and the right over the top, and now Wolf is holding on. Len Wolf has never been knocked down. But he's probably never been in against a 160-pounder with the power of Roy Jones. Jones doing a hard time for a chain snatching. Good combination by Roy Jones. Right hand, left hook. And he muscles him back against the ropes. Look how quick that Jones is, though. Just natural talent. A roof with a terrific chin, Gil, to Ray Leonard. Ray Hopkins step the vacant IBF middleweight title. And now the IBF middleweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. Yeah. With it, sometimes he snaps it, but it's really the length of the jab and its importance as of the evening. Malinga lands a right hand, and Jones. I guess you don't want to back up against Jones because then you give him the chance to establish all the initiative. Round. Straight left hand was spectacular. And this is it for the first time in 11 fights. Jelani Malinga has been knocked out. We just 
really a uh, you know, catch 22. Nice overhand right, and again, caught in the sport, caught in the business of it. Trying to dodge the punches, Garcia, but he didn't dodge that one. And very important, he knew this round that he needed to end this fight. And interestingly, only 18 of Jones' 96 punches in round one were Oh, and down goes Tate. That's it. His corner comes out and stops it. And Roy Jones Jr. does advance early in round two. Across his chest. He's not protecting his chin. He got it up there, though. Pressure, physical and mental. On shooting by Jones. He attempts fate, I think. Left hook, and down goes Tony. Solid left hook there. Tony talking to Jones. Again, what's talking doesn't do you a bit of good. Good left by Jones. If uh, comfortably ahead, he can certainly kill the clock. Big left hook. Big left hook by Jones. Two left hooks. Tony pretending not to be hurt, but he's wobbled. Because round seven begins. But again, um, again. Solid left. Tony in a little bit of trouble. And new super middleweight champion of the world. Jones backing Bird into the corner with an early flurry punctuated by the right hand. Bird's head snapping back with a right. Jones landing early power shots. And Bird's in big trouble, Gil. Down he goes. <laughs> Pazienza has won the theater. A lot of blood from the nose of Pazienza and a little bit under the left eye. An astonishing statistic from the last round. Vinny Pazienza threw five punches, landed none. It's the first time in CompuBox history that, that has happened over an entire round ever since punches have been counted by that organization. An amazing statistic. Wow. Anyway, certainly not guys down at this level. And it's just a little hard. He's going to go side to side. Good look. That hurt Pazienza. And the uppercut. Pazienza's in trouble. Ready to go. Piss off from safety here because he's tired and he is wide open. His IBF junior middleweight title. Hard left hook by Jones. Ballet dancer and bouncer. What a punch. Out two, right, I should say. Getting in trouble. Can't punch back. Come on, Tony. Got a fire. Got a fire, Tony. Got a fire. That's it. That's it, that's it. That'll do it. Confidence that he can do it. But Jones is starting to show that incomparable hand speed. Prince Charles Williams. Same kind of a... But again, Jones, Jones, Jones just outmaneuvers him. Those are not throwing back. Not throwing back. In trouble as Ken Zimmer stops the fight. And wobbles Brandon again. Brandon having trouble for the moment. Staying on his feet. Lifting, watching closely. Him the right to throw a lot of punches, which not too many people can do against Jones. Against Roy Jones. And their man is just getting hammered in there now. Brad Lipton watching as Roy Jones tattoos Brandon. And then Jones says, look, you want more? Okay. Let me tell you, that first left hook hurt Griffin. So does the second one. Roy Jones is playing the fainting game, and Griffith is benefiting by it. Oh, what a left hook. What a left hook. And that's that. Jones gets his vindication via a first-round knockout. With the right hand, and he gets to Hill with it. And shrugs his shoulder, and Hill gets back. Oh, so that is a good shot by Jones. 
and a terrific shot. Hill may not be able to get up. He, he's acting as if he broke the rib. I'm hard pressed to think of anybody that Roy Jones has ever fought that had better hand speed. Classic counter here by Roy Jones. Feather punching Michael Mudd. That's a different and special each time he fights. Big hook by Jones. And again, Johnson in trouble. Jones wants to end it right now. He's trying to make something happen. Look at that shot. Something else Johnson has to worry about. Looks like he tried to lure Roy in. And the uppercut is there. Jones winding up. That's been done. Good right hand of a beating to this point. And finally goes again. Tremendous combination by Roy Jones Jr. Watch this hand speed, just a quick standard left right. He doesn't give you anything to punch off. Philip Steele's after gas hits his defense for the B orient. This is the kind of special occasion that brings it out in him. Jab his chest, make him get his feet. I've got to make him pick up for what you wish for. Hasn't done badly out of that southpaw stance. <laughs> Tacky. You get spin, keep attacking. Attack. Wilbur Jones can go ahead, come into the corner and get trying to bait the opponent into open. Let's go and keep attacking. So let's go with the right hand there. Nah, 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 you can't hit me. Now he's going to the left. Throwing few punches, missing when he does. Roy Jones to the side. Oh, that hurts me, George. Anything he has to stick. With the right hand. Oh, the crowd going wild. He's third. Left hook. A left hook drops him. He never saw it coming. Big right hand. Oh, he's down for the right hand. There's the left hook. Spun completely around him. Didn't know where Roy was. That's it. Mouthpiece came out, I think. Oh, but he's just slowing down because Roy Jones is wearing him down. Good arsenal from Roy Jones. Final seconds of round four. Oh, we don't know what way he's going. <laughs> the referee doesn't know which way to move. <laughs> Roy is opening up angles. <laughs> he's embarrassing the WBA's number one contender. What can I tell you? Is this the road? Oh. A lot of angles, a lot of punches with power. That one rocked him. Looked at the referee, said, okay, I'll continue. One, two. And a counter. Big combination by Roy. I think he's going for it here. Oh, a lift to the head. Drink Cleveland. Not the one to go to distance. Oh, big punches. Roy does turn it southpaw, doing damage again. This may be it. Here's Wobbly. Wobbly, legs wide. It's amazing that Hall is still standing. Particularly after Oh, one. man, saved the Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran. I think he's taken enough rain Kelly to think about stopping this. This may be stopped. Oh, man. Ten seconds remaining. Oh, it's, that's <laughs> enough, Wayne, and that's it. Stops it. The right hand started it. Roy Jones kept throwing punches, could even time it. Left hook did the damage. Kept coming forward. Richard All has no response, and Roy's just chopping him down. Roy maneuvers him into the corner, and those shots are just snapping his head back. All Roy Jones. Wayne Kelly was behind Roy Jones, came around him, got in between, and stopped it. But uh, if I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight and prove that God blessed me with something. I got to take advantage of that. God gave me some talent, and I got to do this. Disrespect. <laughs> Big right hand rumples Gonzalez of the Arsenal. <laughs> Left That's it. Kelly. <laughs> Fighting the conventional style as he get there against Glenn Kelly of Australia. And down goes Kelly on a body shot. Wicked body shot. Perfect shot. It didn't even hit the belt line hardly on the trunks. You know, I always say that regardless of what talent you have, it comes a fight sooner or later where your talent will not carry you there because of the style of the opponent or whatever. Shane like, Mosley learned that yeah, on Saturday yeah. night. Yeah. Again, once again, third knockdown of the night. 
who never saw it. Five, <laughs> ten, and the undisputed, 60 40, pound for pound, days and so and down. Huh? How about you, boy? Roy was just getting in the mode of having a good time at this stage right here. And as I was saying earlier, this guy was surviving because he wasn't that aggressive. And once he started coming in and committed himself, Roy just took advantage of him, caught him with a nice counter punch. WBA heavyweight champion John Ruiz. I want to show Roy Jones what I really, a heavyweight is really all about. Undisputed light heavyweight champion Roy Jones Jr. I said I'll fight the heavyweight champ one time. John Ruiz was available. That's who I'm fighting. One will fight for honor. One will fight for history. He weighed in at a ready 193 pounds. With a record of 47 wins, only one defeat, he has 38 wins coming by way of knockout tonight. He attempts to join boxing's most elite as he challenges for the heavyweight crown. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former middleweight world champion, the former super middleweight world champion, the current undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world, here is one of boxing's pound for pound superstars, introducing Roy Jones Jr. The first three rounds have been largely a sparring session for Roy Jones. Watching and waiting for something good to happen. And he gets caught with a right hand right on the button. And Jones hits him with the left hook and ducks the right. There's a solid right cross by Jones. All of a sudden, those little guys will knock your head off. Hard to imagine there's any fighter above 160 pounds whom Roy Jones can't beat to the punch. He is repeatedly beating Ruiz to the punch. Ooh! He's let him his hurt. He stunned him with that. You can't play around with a Ooh, body shot by Roy Jones. We've twice seen him knock men out with body shots, not making him fight at a pace that might wear him down. Great right hand landed for Jones. Near someplace. <laughs> <laughs> Scintillating action fight, but there is drama in watching the smaller man outwit and out hit. Do what he wants to do. And Jones punches him away. He looks like something out of an oil painting. John Ruiz wants everybody to forget it. He's using a jab tonight. Oh, that's a good left hook in there. <laughs> Roy Jones has been brilliant. To give him a chance is a... And the crowd stands and cheers. Roy Jones. And he deserves it. He chose his niche. He creatively picked his risk. He excited the boxing world. And he dominated the fight. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Jerry Roth scores the bat 116 to 112. Dwayne Ford scores the bat 117 to 111. Judge Stanley Christodoulou sees the bout 118 to 110. All three in favor of the winner. Joining boxing's elite, the new WBA heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr.